Okay, so welcome to Encounter One Weekend, everyone. And for those that are listening, I just want to outline what Encounter One entails. So this will go on to YouTube and probably Rumble, but it'll effectively it'll be Encounter One Weekend covers the following topics. I'm going to talk about the power of the cross, and these will all be standalone videos. So when I put them onto YouTube, they will be set up as standalone videos, but they'll be under the heading Encounter One Weekend. So the first one will be that we'll talk on the power of the cross, the healing power of communion, from curse to blessing, generational curses, the religious spirit, unforgiveness, fear, doubt, and unbelief, rejection, witchcraft, and the occult, Freemasonry, and then we may talk about water baptism, Holy Spirit baptism, and the gift of tongues. So they're the topics that we will be covering in this. So welcome to Encounter One Weekend. This is a weekend where your Father in Heaven is intensely interested in seeing your lives transformed. He allowed His Son to die for such a time as this. And He has sent the Holy Spirit to activate all the promises that He's made for you on this weekend. And when I say this weekend, we call it an Encounter One Weekend, but you can run it any time in any, lo any location. So if you've actually got one of our books, this will be on page, it'll start at page eight. This Page eight is where it is um, for those here. So where are we? So, if, uh, so he allowed his son to die for such a time as this. He sent the Holy Spirit to activate all the promises that he has for you on this weekend. And his greatest desire is to see his children freed of the bondages that are in their lives. So firstly, there is some good news for the oppressed. And this is a promise in Isaiah 61, verses 1 to 9. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me, because the Lord has appointed me to bring good news to the poor. He sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to announce that captives will be released and the prisoners will be freed. He sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the Lord's favour has come and with it the day of God's anger against their enemies. To all who mourn in Israel, he will give beauty for ashes, joy instead of mourning, praise instead of despair, for the Lord has planted them like strong and graceful oaks for his own glory. They will rebuild the ancient ruins, and this is your promise as you get set free. They, you will, be, I'll change the words, you will rebuild the ancient ruins, repairing cities long ago re destroyed. You'll revive them, though they have been empty for many generations, and foreigners will be your servants. They will feed your flocks and plow your fields and tend your vineyards. You'll be called priests of the Lord, ministers of our God. You'll be fed with the treasures of the nations and will boast in their riches. Instead of shame and dishonor, you will inherit a double portion of prosperity and everlasting joy. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully reward, reward my people for their suffering and make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants will be known and honoured among the nations. Everyone will realise that they are people the Lord has blessed. So what great promises. So take these promises for yourselves as we go through this weekend together. So Father God, I just pray for this weekend. I pray that as people listen to these and, and, the, and hear, that not one person will leave the same way they come. Open their spiritual ears and eyes to be able to hear and understand what you are trying to say. That God, your promise is that you came to set the captives free. And there's a whole new level of setting the captives free. And I come against every unclean spirit that would want to talk to people. And, ga and I gag them and blindfold them and command them in the silence in the name of Jesus. That you will not talk to those that are listening to this. And I pray God over these sessions that your people will be set free and a newfound freedom will be found in their lives. Amen.